हेलो एवरी From 1st to 7th of September, it was initiated in the year 1982 by the Ministry of Women and Child Development, and the primary goal is to prevent the malnutrition and promote a balanced diet across all ages. A theme is decided for National Nutrition Week every year, and various activities are being organized, like uh, campaigns in the school, workshops, school activities, media outreach program. to spread the knowledge about the role of nutrition in maintaining overall health why national nutrition week matters because in country like india it faces dual problems there is a problem of undernutrition in children and mothers lack of vitamins and minerals and a high prevalence of anemia and along with that we have a various diseases which are related to the poor diet like obesity diabetes and high blood pressure and there is a continuously rising burden of these kind of non communicable diseases the theme for the year 2025 is eat right for a better life what does this theme emphasizes it emphasizes on the importance of making healthy food choices for improved well-being across all the ages it encourages the mindful eating practices such as consuming more seasonal fruits and vegetables and reducing the intake of processed and junk food it supports the national initiatives like poshan abhiyan mid day meal scheme that aim to improve the nutritional outcomes particularly in children and mothers and there is a focus on promoting accessible and affordable nutrition awareness in the india through community participation according to the indian council of medical research and national institute of nutrition icmr nen indian consume far more sugar salt and oil than the recommended doses the the recommendation are for sugar it should be less than equal to 20 to 25 gram per day for a person for salt it should be less than 5 g per day and for oil the recommendation are 25 to 30 g per day for a single person these recommendation can vary according to the physiological condition of a person or in the children or in the pregnant uh, ladies the requirement may differ but excess consumption of these is linked to the rising burden of obesity hypertension diabetes and other cardiovascular diseases in the country to tackle the problem of undernutrition uh, various government schemes are already there like poshan abhiyan mid day meal scheme icds program and various community level nutrition drives vitamin a prophylaxis program anemia mukt bharat program for non communicable diseases there are various initiatives like national program for non communicable diseases in this program there is a screening of all individual over the years of 30 years for common ncds like diabetes hypertension and there is a establishment of ncd clinics at the uh, district level and at the csc level for free diagnostic and drugs there is also utilization of asha to promote the healthy lifestyle and uh, early detection of various diseases uh, there is there is fit india uh, movement in which the government is promoting uh, physical activities and inclusion of all the physical activities in the daily life and there is a promotion of uh, healthy diets through it is a promotion of inclusion of healthy diet in the indian population by fssai and uh, the government is also using various media platforms to raise the public awareness regarding nutrition right india movement is the initiative by the food safety and standard authority of india 
and it's a nationwide initiative to transform the India's food system by ensuring that food is safe, healthy and sustainable for all citizens. There is three pronged strategy for this that is eat safe, eat healthy and eat sustainable. By improving the food supply standard, educating consumers on the healthy choices and promoting environmental sustainability within the food culture.